All right, guys, I want to share with you something that I think is going to be real helpful if you are looking to integrate certain softwares that don't really speak to each other. Uh, Zapier is a good software. They've actually been getting better. A couple years ago, it's a little hard to manage through, but I think now you're going to see that they've done a lot of upgrades that are going to make it easier for you when you're trying to have two or three or four different softwares speak to each other. Now, what this is going to do is going to share with you how you can actually create a Zap so that you can then take the registrants from your webinar, from Zoom, okay, and then start to trigger sequences inside of Infusionsoft or ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, or, you know, get response, whatever CRM you're using. Now, you know the benefit of that if you've been watching any kind of our training, you're gonna see that it's real important to be able to send behaviorally dynamic follow-ups based on what people do and don't do. So if you know that somebody's gonna register and you know that you can't, you know, what kind of fun would it be to have to manually import everybody that registered every day to your CRM, you know, to your follow-up, so that it actually triggered email sequences. That wouldn't be fun, right? And if you were doing webinars every other day or automated webinars, it would literally be impossible. So for this case, what you could do is just go to Zapier or Zapier whatever dot com and you're gonna want to create a Zap. Now you're gonna see I have two of them here. I have number one and then R-2. It took two different times for me to create these apps. You're gonna see that the first time I created this, if we look inside of the way that I set this up, this is the way that you don't wanna do it, okay? The way that I did it was basically saying, okay, I'm going to trigger a new registrant, okay? So the trigger is gonna be a new registrant, okay? And then the actual action is gonna to be to create or update an existing content or contact member. So if it's like, okay, well, they're gonna register for Zoom, then they're gonna create or update a contact. Seems pretty simple, right? Well, this did not work, okay? This did not work. So what I wanna share with you is the way that it did work. The way that you wanna set it up is gonna be like this. <clears throat> You're gonna to wanna to be able to have new registrant, okay? So the trigger is gonna be a new registrant, but then that's what you're doing as you connect these two is you're actually saying, hey, look, it's a new registrant, apply this as a new contact. It just kind of happens automatically. So then we're gonna to go to search and find that new contact that just registered. And then we're gonna tag that new contact that we just found that just registered according to how you would have it. So if we look at how this is broken down, we can go through the process here. We're gonna see that we have Zoom chosen, we have new registrant, okay? So once we have the trigger chosen, which is new registrant, meaning that every time a new registrant adds due to the webinar, it's gonna trigger this entire Zap, and we're gonna actually connect it to the Zoom account of our choice. Then you're going to edit the, and you're gonna to wanna to actually choose the upcoming webinar, right? So when you choose the upcoming webinar, that already has to be created inside of Zoom. Okay, so this is all these things. It's a very crash course video right here. Just want to give you a walkthrough of how to set these things up. And then you're going to want to test the step. Once you test the step, you can name it if you want. Then you're going to come down to step number two. You're going to make sure that you choose the app of Infusionsoft. You're going to find the contact. Okay, so it's not going to be anything up top. It's going to be at the bottom. Find contact. Then you're going to make sure that you test that. And you're going to want to make sure that you edit the options to where it says email and then the search value. Now you're going to want to test this, okay? You're going to want to create this and test this, and then you're going to want to oh, rename the step if you want, and then you can go down to tag existing. So then we're going to come back and we're going to make sure that the step three now, the action, okay? So we have the trigger, the search, now we need an action. The action is now going to be that we want Infusionsoft now to tag that existing contact, okay? And we're going to then connect everything together, and then we're going to let them know that how do we want to tag them? We want to tag them as registered for whatever webinar that is or tag them for whatever it is that you're going to want to tag them for. So this step, you're going to want to test and then you're going to want to make sure that you launch your zap. Once you have that set up, you are all set to go. You just go to finish here and now you can go to see it in your dashboard and now you can go boom. So when you're thinking about how can I take these, you know, registrants, do I have to have this specific software where I already purchased, you know, an annual license for this particular platform, whatever your case is. I like Zoom just because it's very simple to use and it does landing pages actually convert very well. So what I do is I run traffic, you know, directly to a landing page from Zoom. I have no problem with that. And what I'm gonna do then is have that now zapped to Infusionsoft so it could trigger the email sequences. So hopefully you found this training real quick, this quick training, real big overview, kind of helpful for you. Go ahead and start to get started on this and make sure that if you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.